Hello, this is not your chem tutor, and in this video, I will teach you how to convert molarity to molality and vice versa. Before you continue this video, make sure you already know or you are familiar with the concepts of molarity and molality. If not, then don't worry, I made separate videos and you can check those videos using the links I put in the description box. As always, I have included examples so we can practice some calculations. Before we start with calculations, let us first have a quick recap about molarity and molality. If you can recall, molarity is moles of solute divided by liters of solution. So the unit for molarity is moles per liter, or this is also known as molar or capital M. That means, for example, if you are given 5.0 molar, this is equivalent to 5.0 moles of solute per 1 liter of solution. And let's say you are given 2.5 molar. This is equivalent to 2.5 moles of solute per 1 liter of solution. So that's molarity. Let's move on to molality. Molality is equal to moles of solute divided by kilograms of solvent. So the unit for molar molality is moles per kilogram, or this is also known as molal, or small letter M. Small letter M stands for molal. For example, let's say you are given 5.0 molal. This is equivalent to 5.0 moles of solute per 1 kilogram of solvent. And let's say you are given 2.5 molal. This is equivalent to 2.5 moles of solute per 1 kilogram of solvent. Please take note and remember these examples because we will be using the same concepts in answering problems later on. Just a quick reminder, if you want to convert molarity to molality and vice versa, make sure you know these two values. Number one, the molar mass of solute. Sometimes professors give the molar mass of the solute in the problem, but sometimes they don't. If in case it's not given in the problem, then you have to solve it on your own. If you still don't know how to compute the molar mass, then you can check my video. I put a link on the description box. And number two, the density of the solution. The density of the solution must be given in the problem. Let's try our first example. The concentration of glucose in a solution is 1.2 molar. The density of the solution is 1.05 grams per ml. What is the molal concentration of glucose? In this problem, we are given 1.2 molar and we will convert this to molal concentration. As we discussed earlier, 1.2 molar is just equivalent to 1.2 moles of the solute, in this case our solute is glucose, per 1 liter of solution. Let's do this step by step. Step 1 is to convert liters of solution 
two grams of solution. So we have one liter of solution. First, we will convert liters into milliliters or ml. And we know that one liter is equivalent to 1,000 ml. So liters will cancel. Now we have ml of solution. And in the problem, we are given the density of the solution, which is 1.05 grams per ml. That means that for every 1 ml of solution, it weighs 1.05 grams of solution. So ml will cancel. Now you have grams of solution. And if you saw this, this is equal to 1,050 grams of the solution. That's step one. Step two, convert moles of solute to grams of solute. So in the problem, we have 1.2 moles of glucose. And we are given the molar mass of glucose, which is 180.156 grams per mole. This means that for every one mole of glucose, it weighs 180.156 grams of glucose. So moles will cancel out. We have grams left. So 1.2 times 180.156, this is equal to 216.1872 grams of glucose or grams of solute. Step 3 is to solve the mass of solvent. So how do we solve the mass of solvent? Remember that mass of solution is equal to mass of solute plus mass of solvent. So what you can do, you can transfer the mass of solute to the left side and it becomes negative. So mass of solution minus mass of solute is equal to mass of solvent. The mass of solution, we already did that in step one, that's 1,050 grams minus the mass of solute we did in step two, that's 216.1872 grams. And this is the mass of the solvent. And if you solve this in your calculator, 1050 minus 216.1872, this is equal to 833.8128 grams of the solvent. Now that we have the mass of the solvent, our final step, step four, is to solve the molality. And we will be using this formula. 
So according to the formula, molality is equal to moles of solute. So we have 1.2 moles of glucose divided by kilogram of solvent. In step 3, we have solved the grams of solvent. So we just need to convert this to kilograms. And how would you, how would you convert grams to kilograms? You just divide it by 1,000. So 833.8128 divided by 1,000. This is equal to 0 0.833. 8.128 kilograms. So 1.2 divided by 0 0.8338.128. This is equal to 1.4 moles per kg or 1.4 molal, small letter m. And this is the final answer to the question. Let's try our second example. The concentration of acetic acid in a vinegar sample is 2.55 molal. The density of the vinegar sample is 1.10 grams per ml. What is the molar concentration of acetic acid? This time, we are given the molal concentration, 2.55 molal, and we will convert this to molar concentration or molarity. If you can recall, we discussed earlier that 2.55 molal is just equivalent to 2.55 moles of solute in this case, our solute is acetic acid, so let's just put AA per 1 kilogram of solvent. Okay, so let's do it again step by step. Step 1 in solving this problem is to convert the moles of solute to grams of solute. So we have 2.55 moles of acetic acid and you will just multiply the molar mass which is 60.052 grams per mole. So one mole of acetic acid is equivalent to 60.052 grams. So moles will cancel. We have 2.55 times 60.052 that is equal to 153.1326 grams of acetic acid or grams of solute. Let's move on to step two. Step two is to solve for the mass of solution. So how do we solve the mass of solution? We know previously that mass of solution is equal to mass of solute plus mass of solvent. In the problem, in step one, we already solved the mass of solute, which is 153.1326 grams. So 153.1326 grams plus 
mass of solvent. The mass of solvent is 1 kilogram, or if we convert that to grams, that is 1,000 grams of solvent. Therefore, the mass of solution is equal to 1,153.1326 grams. Let's proceed to step three. Solve for the volume of solution. Okay, so we have from step two, 1153.1326 grams of solution. And in the problem, we are given the density of the solution, which is 1.10 grams per ml. So 1 ml is equivalent to 1.10 grams. So grams will cancel out. 1153.1326 divided by 1.10. This is equal to 1048.3024 ml or if you convert this to liters how do you convert ml to liters you just divide it by a thousand so that divided by 1000 this is equal to 1.048 3024 liters. Now that we have the liters of solution, the final step, step four, is to solve for molarity. And we will use this formula. So molarity is equal to moles of solute so again, that's 2.55 moles of acetic acid divided by the liters of solution, which is 1.048324 liters. And if you solve that in your calculator, this is equal to 2.43 moles per liter or 2.43 molar. And this is the final answer to the question.